Hey guys, and welcome back to the Not So Miserable News. This is the show where I talk about stuff that isn't boring and depressing. Now, I'm not an active person. I recently completed two torturous months of insanity, but I hated nearly every second of it. Just look at my face. Hot stuff. My best angle? But when it comes to climbing anything, I do find that quite fun. Back in 2015, I had the privilege of climbing Mount Snowdon in Wales with loads of really good friends. I nearly died, but that's <laughs> that's irrelevant. It was still a really cool experience. But all the near-death experiences put to one side, after I finished climbing Mount Snowdon, I promised myself I would climb Everest. Then that same year, I saw the film Everest. If anyone can make it, you can. No, thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. But damn, the only hikes you ever make are from your bed to your fridge. Yes. And what? I was just saying. That's so. Just shut up. For those not aware, Everest is located on the Himalayan mountain range on the border between Nepal and China. It's the tallest mountain in the world standing at a pretty nifty height of 29,029 feet, which is mighty high. <laughs> One of the reasons I would never attempt to climb Everest is obviously because I'm physically incapable, but the permit fee is £8,500. For those of you watching who are in America, that is US dollars which is <laughs> not really pocket money, is it? Not really something you find down the middle of your couch or your sofa or couch sofa. Man, this language barrier. You may as well spend that money trying to hire an electric chair because you have zero chance of surviving either. Last week, a South African man by the name of Ryan Sean Davy climbed Mount Everest on his own without paying the permit, and he hid himself in a cave to stop himself having to pay the fee. And as a result, he was ordered off the mountain, had his passport confiscated, and then was charged double the permit fee. That is a grand total of £17,000. And if you know your maths right, that's 22,000 US dollars. Still quite a lot of money. That is a lot of student loans. See, I measure stuff in student loans now, that's... <laughs> the crazy thing is that Ryan reached a height of 23,000 feet in just under six hours, on his own. <laughs> I need someone to hold my hand whenever I climb a little hill. How does he do 23,000 feet on his own? An officer at the base camp was quoted saying this. I saw him alone near base camp, so I approached him and he ran away. Not suspicious at all. David could now be banned from climbing in Nepal for up to 10 years, or even worse, he could be banned from the country entirely. What's better is that as he was scaling the mountain, he would take pictures and regularly upload them to social media. I mean, how brave is that? Here's a few of those uh, beautiful pictures for you. Oh, cheeky. Oh, cheeky. So if you're planning to climb Mount Everest, make sure you do pay the permit fee, or you'll suffer. And if you're as poor as I am, that would not be great. Good job I ain't planning to climb anything anytime soon. Ever. <laughs> oh, I'm so unfit, it's ridiculous. No ambition. No ambition here. Anyways, that is it for this week's episode of the Not So Miserable News. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more beautiful news that I'm sure will make you question the human race. And if you have any weird articles that you would like to feature on this show, please message me with them. My social media links are down in the description below. And as always, this has been The Posh White Kid. Thank you for watching.